Hi guys, today we have a statistics question where we've been asked to calculate the standard deviation for a set of numbers. Now to calculate the standard deviation for any set of numbers, we first have to calculate the variance. And what we're going to need to calculate the variance is to start with the mean of the set or the average of all these numbers. So let's start by calculating the average of this. So we'll call the average x bar. So x bar is going to be equal to 3 plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 17 all divided by 5 so that's going to be 8, 18, 28 33, 50 over 5, which is equal to 10. Great. So now we have the average or the mean of this set. We then can go about calculating the variance. So the variance is basically the squared deviation of the average squared deviation from the mean. Now that's a little bit of a mouthful, but what we're basically saying, so if we calculate the variance, the variance of x is going to be equal to. So we'll start with the first number. The deviation from the mean for the first number will be calculated by the following equation. 3 minus the mean, then we're going to square it. So what the squaring does is it takes away the um, direction from the mean. So if it's above or below, it doesn't matter if you square it. So then we add the next number, so we have 5, subtract the mean, squared, then we add the next number, 10, subtract the mean, so this is going to be 0, because that number is the mean, adding 15, subtract the mean, add 17, subtract the mean. Now, because this is the average squared deviation, we then have to divide it by the number of um, items in our set. So, divide it by 5. So, what we have here is, and what you'll notice when I was talking about this, what the squaring does is you'll see that 3 minus 10 squared gives will returns the same number as 17 minus 10 squared because this is negative 7 squared which is 49 and this is positive 7 squared which is 49 so that's why we square the numbers so this is going to be 49 plus 25 plus 0 plus 25 plus 49 so 49 plus 49 is 98 plus 50 is equal to 148 And that's going to divide that by 5. So what we then can do is then we're going to find the standard deviation. So then we can, um, the standard deviation, what it does is we it takes away the um, square from the variance because obviously the variance, because we're squaring each of the numbers, we're the distance from the mean that the variance suggests is like inflated. So what we have to do, the standard deviation of x, which is also sometimes denoted as rho, is equal to the square root of the variance of x. So, what we have, we've returned our variance number, which is 148 over 5. So, we're going to say that the standard deviation then is equal to the square root of 148 divided by 5. Now, this might be enough if you're working without fully without a calculator, but for those people who 
have a scientific calculator or a calculator which is able to do that kind of uh, maths, the square root of 148 over 5 is equal to approximately 5.44. So our data we could say has a mean of 10 with a standard deviation of 5.44. So I hope that's helped you figure out what is involved when we're calculating a standard deviation and I'll see you again here next time.